What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be giving your final update on the best free 99 overall Ultimate Legends in MUT24 to choose. There's a handful of different ways that you can earn these free fantasy packs. Most commonly right now is coming from the competitive pass. So if you're still out here grinding Madden 24, this is either a great way to add some really good cards to your team or make some coins so you can go out and build rookie premieres to carry over to Madden 25 Ultimate Team. So within the competitive pass, if you're able to make it to level 21, which is certainly achievable right now, some of you watching this video probably already got here and we're saving the pack waiting for this video. I got you covered now. But when you get to level 21 you're going to get a non-bnd ultimate legend fantasy pack it gives you any of the 99 overall ultimate legends in the game with the exception of ltds ltds will not be in this pack or any of these packs it's only going to be the set ultimate legends if you haven't played your ultimate legend solos or you started them and never finished or you took a break from the game and came back this is another opportunity to earn up to two more ultimate legends for free and another way to make some coin right now for rookie premieres because the two ultimate legends that you can can redeem with these tokens from the Ultimate Legend solos are also non-BND. And the two cards that came out today are going for right around or a little bit under 500,000 coins. So you can almost make a half a million coins three different times, assuming that you haven't any earned any of these packs just yet. So each week you got solo challenges. The challenges are going to give you milestone stars. Every time you beat the first six solos in a given week, it unlocks the final challenge. That challenge is going to give you your choice between a lower overall BND Ultimate Legend card or an ultimate legend token you want to take the token each and every time along with the tokens that come from week to week to week you're going to get more in the milestone rewards there are absolutely enough tokens to earn two sets of 64 you're going to need 64 tokens to unlock one ultimate legend another set of 64 to get a second ultimate legend now if you happen to have a ton of these tokens left over and you can't get enough to get to that 64 your best option is to head on over to the ultimate legend sets and go down until you see the nine 94 to 97 overall dynamic ultimate legend exchange so this one requires 16 tokens and it's going to give you any 97 overall ultimate legend in the game these are important because of the two cards that came out today in john Mackey and zach thomas basically you take the tokens assuming you have 16 of them you take either a 97 Mackey or a 97 zach thomas and if you take a look at their prices on the auction house they're not super expensive right but this is the best way to put some value uh, into those tokens you can basically get about 100k maybe a little bit over that after tax for every set of 16 tokens that you have so if you got 64 i'd probably just redeem a full card but if you have 16 or less than 64 you can go through and continue to repeat that set and either take the Mackey or the zach thomas out of 97 overall let's go ahead and go through the best 99 overall ultimate legends to choose out of the full fantasy pack we're going to start with the two cards that came out today first one up is going to be John Mackey, Syracuse legend, one of the best tight, tight ends in the game. I do think that golden ticket Travis Kelsey has this card beat, really good attributes on it obviously. The one that's lacking compared to that Travis Kelsey is going to be the 79 run block, but the good news is, as you can see on this artwork here, he has Vanguard baked in, which is going to give you those crazy pancake blocks. At the time that I'm recording this video, he's going on average for about 500,000 coins, so you get Vanguard for 0 AP, you get Truz for 0 AP, which is going to eliminate the majority of fumbles from this card, and then you can go either Yakim up or Route Technician together, also for zero AP or yak him up and secure protector which is going to help if you want to pass block him and do a lot of max protection to hold up against heavy blitzes either route's going to be good but I do like the combination of yak him up which is really good after the catch and Vanguard, which is going to be good for run blocking. Just overall a really good card, and, and if I haven't said it already, you can take, basically take this card and just sell it for the 500k and make a good amount of coin off of it. The same thing is going to go for Zach Thomas. He's going on average for about 485k, and when it comes down to these two players, if you're looking for the very best one, I think Zach Thomas is more valuable than the Mackey card. 5'11", 97 speed at middle linebacker, all of the other attributes are really good. Really good maxed out block shed, 
tackles 99, zone coverage 96, hit power 99, but more importantly, it's abilities over attributes, and this card has a baked on avalanche, which is obviously going to be zero AP, but also in the last discounted bucket, he gets universal coverage for zero AP, which is going to give you knockouts everywhere on the field, zero to 10 yards, 10 to 20 yards, 20 plus yards in and outside of the hash marks, man and zone coverage. When he's in man, he's also getting one step ahead with that universal coverage. It's the best ability on defense right now. So you get Avalanche, you get universal coverage, and then you get your option of either Lurk Artist plus Enforcer Supreme or Lurk Artist plus Run Stuffer. I'll leave that choice up to you. But all of that, whatever option you go with, you basically get four abilities, including that universal coverage, all together for zero AP. So both of those cards, really good to put on the field, but they're also the two most expensive Ultimate Legends to take if you want to sell them and make some coin. We're going to talk about a couple other options. We got Kevin Mawai here, who on average is about 430k. So if you're looking for a center, this is the best center in the game. Attributes are crazy good. Maxed out 99 strength, awareness, run block, and pass block. He's going to give you Vanguard for 1 AP, which is certainly worth it out there. Uh, he also gets Threat Detector, which will cost you 1 AP. I highly recommend that ability. If you don't have it on another card, and you want to go with this card, I would use Threat Detector. Obviously, with that plus Vanguard, you're going to be looking at a total of 2 AP on the card, and you can also get Secure Protector on him for 0 AP. Some other routes that you can go is Vanguard, Secure Protector, and All Day. That would cost you 1 AP. Vanguard, Secure Protector, and Identifier would be 1 AP, or Vanguard, Secure Protector, and Post Up would also be 1 AP, but I would definitely recommend Threat Detector if you don't have it on another card. As we cover more cards, they're going to be cheaper in price, and if you you're strictly looking to make coin again the first two cards that we mentioned are going to be the cards that you want to take uh, but mario williams pretty solid option over there at left end 99 power move 99 block shed 98 tackle 98 strength and he gets a good combination of abilities and passive x factors you can see that he has the baked on run stuffer as well going for about 420k uh the different routes that you can go are going to be avalanche plus run stuffer would be zero ap and then you can go colossus plus tackle supreme also for for zero AP. So four really good abilities on this card for a total of zero AP. I used this one for about a week until Javon Curse came out the, a couple days ago and I ended up selling him and going with Javon Curse because the Eagles came and all of the other discounted abilities. Uh, this card was fairly productive, pretty noticeably good in the run game or stopping the run. Didn't really get to the quarterback a ton. He wasn't totally locked up, but for me, for whatever reason, Colossus just doesn't play as good as Unstoppable Force does in my scheme. So I think that may have been a part of it, but with the heavy meta of vanguards and people running the ball with that baked on run stuffer and all of the other abilities, Colossus and whatnot, this is a really, really valuable card. Would I use it as my free pick? Probably not. But if you're in the market for ultimate legends or you're earning multiple, ult ultimate, multiple ultimate legend packs, this might be one of the better choices for you. Now I'm going to get into two cards that are really, really productive for me, but not worth the free pick, but I'll explain why I'm still bringing them up in a moment here. The first one is going to be John Randall, one of the best defensive tackles in the game. 94 speed, 99 finesse move, 98 power move, 98 block shed, 97 tackle, 98 strength. He gets unstoppable force baked on for zero AP. It's a passive X factor. It stays on for the entire game. And like I said, this card and the next card, extremely productive for me. He gets to the quarterback a lot. He stops the run a lot. He blows up inside zones all the time because we went with the stack of unstoppable Unstoppable force on this card, plus inside stuff and Enforcer Supreme. Really good combination. And you're going to get all three of those abilities together for zero AP. Now, being that he's about 370,000 coins, and we talked about Mackie and Zach Thomas closer to about 500K, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to take one of those top two cards that we talked about, sell them, and then use the coins to go out and buy Randall, and you'll have a little bit left over to add to your coin stack. Same thing's going to hold true for Walter Payton. I believe he's the best running back in the game, with the exception of that rookie premier running back that just came out recently, Walter Payton. And gets tank baked on, but more importantly than that, and by the way, he goes for about 370k, basically the same price as John Randall. So if you wanted to use the method of selling Mackie or Tom, 
Thomas and using those coins to pick up Randall or Payton. You can do it for either player. Uh, with this Walter Payton card, 98 speed, 99 break tackle, 99 change of direction. But more importantly, he gets that anger runs baked on as an ability instead of an X factor for one AP. It's not baked on, but it's a choice out of his discounted buckets. So for what I have personally, we got the tank that's baked on, angry runs, and then evasive. I actually spend one more AP to put Energizer on this card, so I'm spending two AP in total. But he's been insane. Even over the last week, he's just had a lot of highlight runs for me. Really, really good card. The last two cards I want to cover, again, don't recommend using your free pick on them, but if you want to go the route of selling the more expensive cards and then using that coin to buy these cards, you can go there. And the first one's going to be Darrell Revis, about 310k. By now, you probably know about the heavy bottleneck meta. He, I think, was the card that kind of started this all. One of the first that got it baked on for zero AP. And he also gets universal coverage as an ability for one AP, similar to Zach Thomas, but instead you do have to spend the one AP, but on a cornerback, extremely valuable. Cause again, you can play man coverage, zone coverage. You're going to get knockouts everywhere. You're going to get the one step ahead baked in there as well. Uh, and then the combination of abilities you can go with in the zero AP buckets are going to be pick artist and secure tackler. So bottleneck, pick artist, secure tackler, universal coverage, all for one AP. I think he's the perfect slot defender, but you can also play him on the outside if you're going to be doing a lot of man press. The last Last card is stupid cheap, but got a little bit pricey over the last week. It's right tackle John Runyon. He was low as 200,000 coins a couple days ago. He's now up to 280k, and I still think one of the best right tackles in the game, not if, but the best. And I know Lincoln Kennedy gets more discounted buckets, and the attributes are pretty similar. The reason I would say Runyon is the best, because the price, number one, he's a lot less expensive. He gets secure protector baked on for zero AP. That's an absolute must. You can go with with all day and nasty streak also together for zero AP. All day is great for pass coverage or pass blocking. Nasty streak is great for run blocking and running people over but he gets threat detector for one AP. We talked about how valuable that was earlier with Kevin Mawai. If you're not going to use that card, this is another card that gets it at that discount for one AP. So secure protector, threat detector all day and nasty streak together for a total of one AP. And like I said, with Revis and Runyon, uh, Revis being 310K, Runyon being 280K, you might even be able to get those cards a little bit cheaper than those average prices. It's still not a bad idea to go out there and pick John Mackey or Zach Thomas, sell those cards and then buy the last two cards that we just talked about you can almost get a two for one you'll be paying a little bit more obviously because using a roundabout number it's going to be about 600k for both of them but hopefully you get my point so those are the very best 99 overall ultimate legends to be adding to your mutt 24 squad if you're still trying to compete and or make some coin to build up for rookie premiere thank you guys for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace